Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Ontario Soil Network and the Mosaic Company. Bernard Tobin on the Soil School today. I'm down in Huron County talking with Steph Burlett, uh, agronomist for Agrimart. Steph, how's it going? Good, how are you, Bern? I'm pretty good, pretty good. Hey, I want to talk soil, but I guess I want to talk about what's in the soil and what we're taking out of the soil. We're in the middle of a soybean harvest here. We've got some tremendous yields, seeing some nice yields across the province. What are you seeing? Locally in here on Perth, uh, we, we got some very key August rains, which uh, you know we know translates into soybean yields. So um, we're starting to see some record high soybean yields come off in this area. With those big yields come big nutrient removal. And I want to talk about you know, what growers should be mindful of. As, as I say, as you take these yields home, but you've got to be planning for the next year from a nutrient perspective. What do you, what do you tell guys? Yeah, I mean, it's always good. We like to enjoy the big yields and, uh, and enjoy taking that to the elevator and cashing in. Um, but it, it is important at the end of the day to, to keep in the back of mind what we are taking out of our, of our soil bank when we are cashing those big yields in. Um, and, and that is very important, specifically when we're looking at our, our P and K levels. So Steph, let's look at some numbers here. Um, up on the screen, we've got nutrient removal at 55 bushels of soybeans. What do you see here and how does that vary from a, 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 a jump up to 75 bushels. Yeah, so at 55 bushel, you know, in terms of phosphorus, we're looking at about roughly 40 pounds and potassium, 66 pounds. Um, and then, you know, we, we don't really plan often in the winter burn for our crop removal at 75 bushel soybeans. So when we when we actually get to 75 bushels, we make that jump from, from 40 phosphorus to 55 pounds of actual and, and from potash, 66 pounds to 90 pounds in the 75 bushel removal. So you know, we're jumping almost 15 pounds of, of phosphorus and we're jumping almost 25 pounds of potassium uh, when we go from a 55 to a 75 bushel crop. Similar story in corn? Similar story in corn, yeah. If you take the numbers on a 180 bushel crop uh, as opposed to a 250 bushel crop, you know, we're going from 65 pounds roughly of uh, phosphorus to almost 90 pounds of phosphorus. And then on potassium, we're going for 45 pounds of potassium grain removal to 62 pounds of potassium. So it's important, even if the monitor starts jumping to 250 at times, you know, you're still taking that out of the bank somewhere. What about variability in the field? I mean, we're running a combine across this field. We may hit 80 bushels, we may be down to 50. How do you, how do you, how do you factor that in to your nutrient management? Yeah, so a lot of the times we're managing you know fertility across a field scale and there's nothing wrong with that but but there are times where that you know if you have any type of topography in your field you know that no we we know it died off early and that was because of lack of water um so it's important to look at that variability and in terms of removal a eh? and what can we do to help correct that variability by using organic amendments like compost manure biosolids to try to build that organic matter and water holding capacity back up and that's i mean the final point here i mean it is about soil health right yeah. um building your organic matter you know when we have that and when we have healthy soils we have better you know nutrient recycling overall absolutely yep they go the two go hand in hand it is a soil school and last comment from you and that is the role that healthy soil and soil health plays in nutrient management yeah, absolutely, Bern. Uh, the one key characteristic that I hear a lot from out in the field um, is, you know, those, those high yielding zones tend to correlate with our water holding capacity, um, which, which goes back to our organic matter that we have there. So, you know, if we run into some drier scenarios, um, you know, th those fields that have that higher organic matter can buffer and mitigate that stress longer and protect that yield potential. So it's really important, um, you know, to, to take a look at, at targeting that and building that um, because we know where that where that higher organic matter and better water holding capacity sits uh, better yields sit